tough, but that, that's, that's a little overwhelming there. Thank you very much. Miley, thanks so much for your words and taking the time to come here for me. You have such a beautiful soul, and it's been really wonderful getting to know you over these past few years. It's important to see another strong woman who does things her way, and, and she does. First off, I really want to acknowledge my parents, Jim and Dottie, who can only be with us in spirit, which I know they are. Hey, Mom and Dad, did you ever think that Christmas guitar would lead to this? But I miss them and love them so much. And my brother and sister, Jim and Ann, I love you. I come from a place where rock and roll means something. It means more than music, more than fashion, more than a good pose. It's the language of a subculture that has been made eternal teenagers of all who follow it. It's a subculture of integrity, rebellion, frustration, alienation, and the glue that sets several generations free of unnatural societal and self-suppression. Yeah. Rock and roll is political. It is a meaningful way to express dissent, upset the status quo, stir up revolution, and fight for human rights. Do you think I'm making it sound more important and more serious than it is? It's only rock and roll, right? Rock and roll is an idea and an ideal. Sometimes, because we love the music and we make the music, we forget the political impact it has on people around the world. There are pussy riots wherever there is political agitation. We become so conditioned to measuring our music's impact in dollar signs only that we can forget what it's really about. The music, emotion, expression, giving a voice to those who aren't satisfied fitting into whatever box they were given. Rock and roll ethic is my entire life, and I'm thankful to all the people along the way that let me be me. When I was 16, I met Kim Fowley and Sandy West. I took four buses to get to Sandy's house so we could jam in her rec room. And then we called Kim on the phone and played him some songs, and the Runaways were formed that day, August 5th, 1975. We lost Sandy a few years ago, and Kim just a few months ago in January. And if Kim were still with us, he'd be here, sitting at my table, and probably taking bows on this occasion, rightfully so. Thank you, Kim. Because if, if we did nothing else but write Cherry Bomb, it would have been great. But we made some history. Thanks to my co-conspirator, Sandy, and all the runaways who shared this unique an unrivaled perspective of rock and roll. Mickey, Cherie, Lita, Jackie, Vicky, Laurie, and Peggy. And our dedicated and hard-working road crews. Yeah. And after The Runaways, I met Kenny Laguna to work on a previous project that I had committed to. And his wife, Meryl, had encouraged Kenny to meet with me as she had read about me and thought I was significant. And they decided to manage me. Every label turned me down, saying I should lose a guitar or just they didn't hear any hits. We started Blackheart Records with their baby Carrie Ann's college fund and pressed our own records. And I Love Rock and Roll went to number one. Thank you. And Blackheart is now 35 years old, and it's a growing entertainment company headed by the same Carrie Ann, whose college fund was its seed money. <laughs> it's karma. Yeah. She has reinvented Blackheart, but has kept our mission alive. Thank you, Carrie Ann, and thank you, Mel. When I met Kenny Laguna, I found a best friend, 
a writing partner, a bandmate, a producer, a manager, and a soulmate. In a business not known for loyalty, we have been together for over three decades. We share music, we share business, we share credit. I've been so lucky to have his friendship, and I want to acknowledge his amazing contribution to my career. Thank you, Kenny. Yeah, in, in London, at the start of my solo career, Pete Townsend said to Kenny and me, go see Bill. You don't have to pay us now. Bill Kerbishley and The Who let us record at their Ramport Studios. It was all magic, the work, the scene, the creativity. This gave us the ability to build the buzz and mystique that is so critical to rock and roll without anyone's interference. Kenny reached out to his friends Neil and Joyce Bogart to help put out our record. And despite the rejections from pretty much every label at the time, there were some incredible early believers that helped get us started, like Howard Bloom, Toby Mamus, Steve Leeds, Steve Lieber, Eddie O'Loughlin, Tom Cuddy, Tony Martell, Ian Copeland and his agency, FBI, who are revolutionary. The FBI guys like John Huey, who still is our agent, and Rick Shore worked hard for us, and I'll never forget. There have been so many people along the way that have been advocates and friends throughout my career. I want to thank little Steven and Dave Grohl. They have been such strong supporters. Kathleen Hanna and Adam Horowitz. Thanks, thanks to Lemmy and Motorhead. The Foo Fighters. Nirvana, Dave, Pat, and Chris. That same Iggy Pop. Rodney Bingenheimer, Debbie, Chris, and Blondie, the Ramones, Alice Cooper, Roger Daltrey and Pete Townsend, Cheap Trick, Ian Mackay, Fugazi, and Discord Records. My fellow inductees, Green Day, Billy Joe Armstrong, Mike Dirt and Trey Cool, the band X, Robert Plant, Darlene Love, all the Riot girls out there, Stephen, Joe, and Aerosmith, the replacements, Mike Ness and Social Distortion, Mick Taylor, and so many others, Rob Light, Rod Essick, and CAA, thank you. Thanks to Kristen Foster and PMK. Thanks to our lawyers, Oren, Jason, and David, Thanks to Michelle Fayetta, Howard Krant. Thank you, Elliot Saltzman, for all your hard work and coordination tonight and since 1980. Julie Rader, Carol Kamen, Cookie, Elise Indry, Paul O'Neill, Mike Winter, Steve Hobble, Mike Bridey, Mark Bridey, Mark Dodson, Carol Kay, on all past and certainly our present team at Blackheart Records, Max, Gabe, Hubert, Caroline, Curtis, Davey, and Cynthia. Thanks to all the Blackhearts throughout the years, especially the great Tommy Price, who for 32 years has been the heartbeat, the pulse, the roaring propulsion of this band. Tommy should have been inducted with us tonight, and I want to recognize him in front of you all now. Once again, Tommy. Love you, man. But also Tony Bruno, Eric Amble, Chasm Sultan, AC Slade, the Uptown Horns, Tom Panunzio, and my fellow inductees, Ricky, Gary, and Lee Viamara. And of course, the current Blackhearts, Tommy, Kenny, Dougie Needles, and Hal Seltzer, and my crew, Billy Crater, Ed Sargent, Zach Nagy, Brandon Southern, Annie, and Beef. I want to thank the Hall of Fame, Joel Perezman, Alex Coletti, Lisa Testa, Betsy Hill, John Landau, and Jan Wenner. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs>